this is a case to be. <laughs> what? Why are you scratching your ass like that? Cause check this out. Oh my <laughs> god, dude! Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Welcome back to <laughs> Boys with Rats. Uh, my name is Tommy. I am here with <laughs> Casey. This should be part four of our Kirby Let's Play. Hi gamers. Hi gamers. Hi gamers. So been a little minute since we recorded. Uh, anything? Any, anything new with you, Casey? <laughs> I um. Okay, I'll, I'll put something there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of new stuff with me, by the way. Oh no. I had a pretty eventful weekend that you guys might know because I've I've talked about it pretty much every single episode. Yeah. Leading up to it. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. If... Is this the level right here? Well, you should play this one so I can talk okay. real quick. But yeah, I went to the. Game Grumps live show during GoFest 2022. Yay! It was, it was a perfect lineup. Oh my god. I was in Denver already. Yeah. Oh. The... Honestly, dude, the, the the show was fucking amazing, Casey. I'm not I'm not I'm not sugarcoating anything too. Cause what did you do? It was it was a whole it was it was whole it was a whole eventful day. Alright. Uh so, oh. so we're we're playing Go Fast, right? And on a, like, I, I guess I guess to set the mood, my my the my little hopes were a little down, right? Because with with, uh, with Go Fest, right? Uh huh. I got one shiny the first day, right? And if anybody knows with Go Fest, you know the shiny looks the shiny look is like is raised a little bit, but for some reason I'm 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 my notorious luck only got me one shiny, right? Then day two happened, a little bit a little bit of better of a day, right? So a little bummed up, you know, only like one ultra beast, right? And you know, it not being what it was like last year, right? Which I had a really, really fun time last year playing Go Fest. So I guess you know <laughs> So I don't even know dude, I'm I'm you know what? Fuck it, I'm lost for words. But anyway, so I went to went to went to the Game Grumps live show. Right, it was just fucking amazing. Right, I I I got very worried during during toward the lead up of it. Right, um, cause we 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 left we left a little late. Right, and and I was worried that like oh we're gonna miss the show and stuff like that. So I was already worried from that. Then we got to the venue. Right. Yeah. So absolutely crowded. I'm pretty sure it was sold out. Right. It uh -huh. was it was crowded. Right. The like the line for all the food, right? Was wrapped around the building. The line for the merch was wrapped around the building, right? Um, ba I was with Bailey, right? And she was like, she was kind of like leading the way, but she was moving really fast. So I was like, I'm a loser, and I don't have. She has my phone, and she has the tickets, right? Uh -huh. So I was very worried that uh, we we would like not be able to sit in time and stuff like that. But luckily, we did, right? Yeah. Our seats were such ass. <laughs> ass. Yeah. We were up in the boonies, right? So, it was, uh, context as well, right? The goonies. I, when the second I heard about the game room show, I, I bought the VIP tickets, right? Yeah. But for some reason, like, I guess I didn't like confirm it all the way, so I, I end up didn't get, so I end up not getting like any tickets at all, right? So luckily at the last minute I was able to buy two, right? Because uh, then those two seats were up in the boonies, right? They're they're like the last two seats you can get. We. We're even si sitting separate from each other because there was a pillar, Dang. right? So we were up high, that right? Was. So our seats were like to the left, right? So it, it was me sitting next to two strangers, right? Then a pillar between us, right? So I couldn't actually even see the stands, right? Uh huh. Then Bailey, for some reason, there was like uh, there's a space of like two seats between me and Bailey, I guess because of the pillar, right? So then I was like, oh no, I'm because like. I've been watching Game Grumps for fucking forever, right? And this was my first live show. So I really wanted to, like, 
in my mind, I'm like, I'm not going to be able to see them. I have such a bad view. This pillar's in the way, right? It's It would have not cut out to be what was in my head, right? Yeah. Then the people who run the venue, they came up to my section with, like, with a couple other people, right? Because there was, like, this whole section open in the front, right? And they asked us, how would you guys like to sit in front of the stage? Ooh. So, I... Literally complete 180 with with my fucking mood, dude. I was like, cause like I was like, oh man, I'm not gonna really like, I'm not gonna be able to get a good picture with them and stuff like that. Yeah. And like I was just very <clears throat> bummed out, right? But I was like, I was trying not to let them be like, bum me out for the show, right? Because I was so good, very excited to see them. Mm -hmm. But dude, the second she was like, how would you guys like to sit up front, dude? I'm like, I dude, I'm like, I was like a fucking kid in like. When like on fucking Christmas Day, man, I was so giddy, I couldn't stop smiling, man. Like I like I was just full of emotions, right? I didn't know I could contain it, right? So when we got down to the thing, right, me and Bailey were first in line to like move to the front of the stage, right? So we we were able to sit right fucking dab smack in the middle, first fucking row, dude. Yes. That trip was insane, dude. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Then. Uh, I don't want. I don't. I don't want to spoil it, right? For in uh -huh. case anybody like by by chance like they're going to the shows in the future, which I I plan to go to a lot more because just in general, right? Their yeah. skits and stuff like that, and the way like they performed was absolutely fucking amazing, right? And just the way they did it was so fucking cool, right? And I was screaming and laughing the entire time, man, because they were so funny, right? But the the opener was so funny, man. It's like, what is it? It was like, so they had people come on stage and dance and stuff like that, right? And like, I was like, oh, I, I can't do that. I don't want to embarrass myself, right? So yeah. I didn't do it, right? But eventually, right, after I saw them dance, I was like, oh, I, I can do this, right? Uh -huh. So then like, I, you know, of course, I, I stood up and stuff, right, to try to, to try to get on stage, right? But I didn't end up going on stage, right? But then, so, Danny and Aaron come out, right? Then like, we're having a good fucking time, right? So... Then eventually they, they do their show, right? They call people from the audience to participate and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're 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 kind of going for the middle of the section, right? So it's like it's like oh since we're front stage and center, right? You know it would be fair if like people that like behind us got like to participate and stuff, I guess, right? Yeah. Because they weren't really picking on us, right? So what is it? I was like I kind of I kind of gave up halfway to like trying to get on stage, right? However, <laughs> right? I was like let me at least do something though, right? So. So as they were calling people up, I, like I stood up, right? Then I was I was looking at fucking Danny, right? And, yeah. and my mind was like, flex your muscles, flex your muscles at Ooh. Danny. So I, I straight up hit the fucking bicep flex, and I nodded my head, and, and like I was like showing my t-shirt because I was wearing a twerp shirt, right? I wanted to Danny see twerp shirt. Then <laughs> Danny hit a bicep flex back at me, right? Then he nodded his head. And I was like, oh my god, he acknowledged me, right? Like, this is yeah. insane, right? This is so cool. This is so surreal. I've been watching these guys for so long, and I'm seeing them right in front of me, and they're looking at me in the ground. It was absolutely insane, right? So then, okay, so then, so I'm just recalling everything, right? So then, so as they got everybody on stage, right? They're like, Danny was like, I like how, I like how everybody, you know, when we call on people from the audience, right? They, uh, they all just jump up and raise their hand and try to get on stage. This guy, and he points at me, he was like, this guy looked at me in the eyes and just started flexing at me. Oh. <laughs> then, then, then for some reason, the, like, the light showed up, like, kind of on me, because yeah. they were trying to light up the stage, but since we were middle, right, the light was just showing on us. Uh -huh. Then, I don't know why, I was like, in my mind, I'm like, I have to stand up, and then I have to stand up. So, like, my mind went blank, right? Then yeah. I was like, I stood up and I was like, it's me, it was me. Then I turned to the crowd, and then I hit the same bicep flex, right? And they started screaming. Then I turned to the stage, then I hit the fucking Z's, right? So my hands are up in the air, and they fucking started screaming. And Danny, oh my god, and Danny's like, this guy's jacked, right? <laughs> and Aaron was like, man, he's got the poses. So like they tell them to look at me and just they called you out. <laughs> they called me out and they were looking right at me and just the way that the crowd was screaming, man, it was it was fucking insane. I'm like that made my entire year. Like people I I look up to, right? Because I was I was also nervous, right? Because they even talk about it in some of their episodes, right? Where uh -huh. it's like you never meet or not oh. never meet your heroes, right? But yeah. it's like be worried when you meet your heroes, right? Because they could be assholes, right? Uh -huh. And I. My mind, I'm like, they're not assholes, right? 
But like, so it's like, I was just, just so that thought was in the back of my head, right? Yeah. I was like worried. I was like, oh, is this going to like, fucking, am I going to be like, uh, not really happy with the show and stuff like that? But no, dude, I'm like, I, I, was, I was in fucking awe. I'm still in awe, man. Like, one of my idols called me fucking jacked, and the other one yes, says, I did. got good poses, right? <laughs> it was insane, dude. We were in the fucking middle, right? Like, of course, like, with COVID rules and stuff like that, like, yeah. they didn't, like, come and do, like, the whole thing where they, like, like slap everybody's hand like every, like, artist does and stuff like uh-huh. that, right? But, dude, it was fucking insane, dude. How the show was so so fucking amazing, man. And like, I don't, I'm, I'm, I would say go into more detail what the show is like, but I don't want to spoil it, right? Because yeah. like, I want, the, I want a unique experience, right? But oh my god, the end of the show was amazing, dude. Like, I guess, I, I guess a little spoiler. Okay, I'm not gonna say what they did, but they, they did, they did rap for us, right? Then like, there was there was like a little ending thing, right? Because because they're they're rivals, right? So they're like. There's two competitions, right, for the show, right? And once yeah. everything was said and done, right, as Danny was like calling how like how much he missed the live shows, right? Because it's like it's because like when COVID happened and stuff like that, right? Yeah. They were very worried that they might not be able to do this again because of it and stuff like that, uh-huh. right? But since they got the opportunity, they were very thankful, right? And as they were leaving stage, right, Danny was waving goodbye and everything, right? That. Then I hit him with, I, again, hit him with the same bi- bicep flex. Then he did it again, then he nodded his head, then he pointed at me. Then Bailey screamed, I love you, Danny! Then Danny, like, threw up the, like, the, the heart <coughs> and stuff like that as he was walking on stage and he was looking at us. Yeah. And, like, again, for them to, like, I know, b- parasocial relationship Tommy, right? I was just, like, <sighs> dude, I was, it's for, I've, I've, I've never had that kind of sort of experience before. Of like someone look I, I look up to and stuff like that and like oh I mean I shouldn't say I've never had someone that I look up to like acknowledge me and stuff like that because I've looked up to family members and I look up to my friends all the time right uh-huh. but for it to be like a little of course it's like I guess a celebrity right it's it's different man so it's like I don't know he fucking called me jacked dude, <laughs> dude. and I and I flexed in front of the crowd man and they went wild dude I'm fucking. It was fucking amazing, man. I am. Uh, anytime they're in town or if they're close, man, I I, w- I want to go to their shows, man. Yeah. Cause it was amazing. I, I wish you guys were there, man. A little. I'm I'm bummed out that Trev wasn't able to make it, right? Mm-hmm. Cause like the tickets were sold out and everything and stuff like that. And honestly, I didn't really plan it as well with the group, right? I kind of was like, hey, do you guys want to go to Game Grump show, right? And I didn't really plan it, but next time, man. We're, we're, we we're gotta time. go. Okay. It, I don't think I don't think it would be able to top it though, man. Just from how bummed I was, right, to us getting really like, yeah, really bad like seats, right. Then mm-hmm. all of a sudden, be like, do you want to sit up front, right? The the emotions I fucking went through, man, it was insane. I I I was fucking in awe, man, because I don't think I'm ever gonna get that close. It's like to like watching the show again, right? Uh huh. Cause like I said, we were dead fucking center, man. It was it was insane, man. The people around us were cool as well, right? Cause we were cracking jokes and stuff like that, right? And seeing everybody participate in the stuff was like awesome, man. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. I guess I can talk about like some experience with it, right? When when they had the the dancing in the start, right? There was this guy. I think his his name was like Kevin or whatever, right? He was he was wearing a denim a denim shirt right then as they had like the dance the dancing right he did like a strip tease and he took off his denim and it, I think everybody went crazy right so fucking funny man the, the entire show they were so fucking funny man it's I'm I, I can't fucking I wish I really could put all my thoughts and emotions into words right now but I am so very much in awe from the show and. It's 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 got me really motivated, man, to to upload and do stuff, man. Cause mm-hmm. it's like it's like I want to be like, yeah, you you guys remember your Denver show? I'm the I was the I was the kid that fucking hit the bicep flex on you. I guess you I I guess yeah. you could say I'm, I mogged Game Grumps. <laughs> it's like you did. It's like <clears throat> fuck, man. It's. 
<laughs> this was um, top ten Tommy moments ever. This, I, this is like, <laughs> what, do, what do people call it? Like the core memories, right? Yeah. It's like, this is definitely, this is, I feel like, I guess, I, I guess in general, I feel like I haven't had one in a while, right? I guess that feeling of like, uh -huh. I'm gonna remember this forever, right? Last night was, I'm, I'm gonna remember this forever, like, I, when when I get a proper fame and stuff like that, I, I want to print out print out the pictures, right? Yeah. Of like out of the show, and I want to I want to put it on my wall over there. Uh, that crown I have, right? Bailey has the other uh, has an extra that says Grump because we were, we were we were team Grump for the show, right? But the guy, like I said, wanted to trade me for an also Grump thing. Yeah. I want to cut a piece of that, and I like I want to put it in like a shadow box type thing. It's kind of like how the GoFest frame right there. Like I I I want all these memories that I have right now, right? To look yeah. back on. And like, is that like, as as I know, like, our phones have pictures and stuff constantly, uh -huh. right? Uh, I wanna I wanna make those physical, right? Like I want, uh, I guess, I guess for like later terms, I guess actually to put it what, what I wanna do, I wanna I wanna scrapbook my twenties, right? What? So my so my kids could see like what my twenties were like, right? Yeah. So like I want to print off. Eventually I want to print off all the pictures that I've had from like my twenties and stuff like that of all like all these moments, oh, right? Gotcha. So it's like when eventually when my kids and stuff like that go through like my baby book, right, and stuff like that, you know. It's yeah. Like, it's like there they could see me as a child, right? Then my own personal book, right? That like that I can have, right? Uh huh. They can look through what my twenties were like and maybe can like relate or be like not worried about where they were, right? Yeah. Like, so I'm very excited for that. This is definitely going to be going in there, man. It's Danny called me fucking jacked, man. Dude, think of all those uh, years and months of hard training, and then oh, Danny really? himself, so, he calls you out on your at jacked form, all yeah. your work. Look, as 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 Dom Mazzetti puts it, right? Uh huh. The, the day you start lifting is the day you are forever small, right? That is so... It's very real, man. I'm... My my BD, right, has been not kind of me lately, right? Yeah. Like, my body dysmorphia, man. It's been really hurting me, man. But, like... Even even at the even at the Game Grum show, um... I was like, like I said, with my anxiety and stuff like that, uh, a thing that kind of also played into it was, like... It's like, it's like, oh, um, this shirt is a little big on me, right? I look skinny in it and stuff like that, right? Yeah. So the fact that Danny called me jacked, right, while I was feeling very small, right? Because, mm -hmm. like, when I get around people, I also feel very small and I get worried, right? Yeah. Not to say, that, like, I gotta be big, so I gotta, you know, right? It's just that I feel so... S I, I hate feeling s small in the sense, like, like... The whole, like, you wanna, not to sound like that guy, right, but you wanna floating rock and, you know, nothing, nothing matters or whatever, right? It's like, not to be like that person, but anytime I feel small like that, I get, I get, I panic a little bit, right? Yeah. So, me feeling small, like, physically, right, plays into that, right? Uh-huh. So, again, as Danny calls me jacked, that really fucking all all that stuff went away and i haven't thought about like i've not felt tone sense which is like fucking oh shit oh you got it you got it oh, oh okay. there you go <laughs> what are you saying <laughs> just in general like i don't know i don't i know these episodes have been oh tommy's been fucking debbie down right but like usually at nighttime recently i've, I've felt very sad right so like last night i wasn't able to sleep right because i'm too excited from the show yeah. so it's like in general i'm so happy right now I I want to go again, man. I like I'm gonna I want to repeat last night, man. Nothing, nothing. I don't think I'm ever gonna have like a uh, better like experience like at a show, right? It it being yeah. like a concert or like their kind of shows, right? Uh -huh. And it really makes me want to go to more, man. Like there's a lot of people I want to see. I want to see Super Mega, right? I want to see Game Grumps again. If like. Markiplier or Jacksepticeye ever has one, right? I wanna see it, right? Yeah. Cause I used to watch a lot of stuff when I was younger, right? Of like the creatures and stuff like that, and Cowtrop of having like panels and stuff like that, mm -hmm. or shows that I like I want to go to and experience, right? But like of course me being like younger, right? I wasn't able to go to those shows, right? Yeah. So now that I'm have the opportunity, I want to go to a lot. Like I said, Super Mega, Game Grumps again, right? Uh -huh. If Off Candy ever has one, right? I would love to go to that. Uh, a big one. I, I'm not sure if they're still doing it because I'm I'm still catching up, right, 
uh, the, the If I Were You podcast, right? I really yeah. want to. I really want to go to one of those things, and I highly recommend if anybody's interested in that kind of thing or has the opportunity, go for it. It is. It was such. It, I, it's. It was fucking stellar, man. And I really want you and I want all my friends to like listen to the If I Were You podcast in case they ever ever show, right? Because they're so fucking funny, man. Jake and me are fucking hilarious, right? Not to say like the other people aren't. Super Mega Boys are fucking hilarious. Game yeah. Grumps is fucking hilarious, right? I'm, yeah, that's that's honestly my ramble. That's all I have to say. Danny called me Jack. By chance, if if he's hearing this, right? You and Aaron, man, I'm good fucking show. You guys killed it, and I have. I was feeling inspired, man. It was crazy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Sorry for rambling, but that was just my. I, I've been like wanting to talk about this with someone all all day today. That's but, the Tom but Trev's at work, right? I know you were at work, right? Like I was geeking to Matt and Connor and other Matt, right? Uh-huh. In in our Snapchat thing, I was like, I was like, D-, like the second it happened, right? And we all sat down and they're playing game. Instantly went to my phone. Daddy called me Jacked. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tommy fucking, uh, has uh, recovered. Tommy, I I don't think anything can take me down right now. <laughs> I, feel, I feel amazing, man. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys could hear it in my throat, though. You you guys should have heard it this morning. We're on the way to the drive last night. Me and Bailey's voices were just shot, man. Mm-hmm. Right with all the cheering and stuff like that. And just like again, screaming in general because it's like, holy shit, man! It's people we've watched for so long, right? My like, my first, my first series was Wind Waker, right? Yeah. That was eight years ago. Was it? Their Wind Waker playthrough was eight years ago. Dang. So it's like, like I know, like that, like especially that series, right? As like touched a whole lot of people, and it like that will always by far be my favorite series as well. It was my first, and it was definitely that one that hit me like in the heart the most too. So like, I, I nothing would top it ever. I think the only thing that would top it right, and I know they probably didn't do it right because of COVID and stuff like that. But if I was able to get pictures with them, that would have been amazing, man. I, I just in general, I really wanted to thank them because they've they've helped me through a whole lot, man. Yes, so, yeah. Thomas. Yeah. And I know the stigma of you know parasocial relationships. I'm not, I'm not trying to be that person, man. Of like these, these people are like my friends and stuff like that, right? Because it's like I don't, I don't really know. I don't know how to describe it. I just, I was just more or less getting at the thought like these are people I look up to. They're I like, I hate the word idolize, right? Because like it can also have a very negative connotation, right? It's just these are people I look up to, right? And mm-hmm. you know. I, I want to, you know, I've, I've always tried to keep, like, a safe distance with that kind of stuff, right? So it doesn't become, like, an obsession or anything like that, right? Yeah. But, but I, I lit a little loose last night, man. It was very surreal, man. Especially being in the front seat. It was like, fuck. They're that. They're real. They're real. You know. My, my first thought was, like, man, they're taller than I thought. I, I know they talk about how they're, like, kind of the same height, even though, like, in a lot of caricatures, right? Or animations, <laughs> they like to the the pick like Aaron as the short short one and Danny the tall one. But no, they're like the same height. And oh my god, dude, Aaron was looking good, man. He's lost a lot of weight. His his fucking forearms were fucking bulging and shit, man. Mm. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I don't. The opener, man. He fucking killed it, right? I don't want to spoil it for anybody. But maybe I'll talk it in. Well, maybe I'll talk about it once the tour is over, right? Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, I just wanna. I wanna. I wanna go to another show, man. I wanna. I wanna relive last night. That was just fucking amazing. It was really fucking cool, man. You can't wait till next year. Are I, they gonna do it next year? I don't know if they're doing next year. Oh, I hopefully they do, right? Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm. I. I'm just. I want to go. I want to see them again. I just want to go to another show like that again. That was amazing. Yeah. 
So yeah, sorry for rambling again. I, I know I okay. I know I've repeated a lot of the same points, but I'm still just in fucking La La Land, I guess. And I, I also I also started rewatching the Wind Waker series as I was like cleaning the house today. So <coughs> very very surreal. Well, it sounds like you had the best day of your life. I it literally. You guys know I've been in such a fucking rut recently, man. That yeah. that really lifted my spirits, and it's honestly something I think I needed. I think it is. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. You finally got it, Thomas. I know. Yay! It's like the. <laughs> Dude, I am. Good. It was good fucking stuff, man. I am. I I I I could fucking tear up, man. It was it was some good shit. Oh. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I think yeah, yeah we we'll could call, end we'll this we'll episode here. here. Um, my name's Tommy. I I don't know how to end this. <laughs> hey, so yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me rant. This is this is just gonna be the one episode in this recording session because it is getting late. Uh, so expect some new stuff, maybe new people or any other stuff coming up. I uh, we have stuff planned. I'm I'm hoping you guys context. We haven't recorded any skits yet, right? So when you do listen to the first episode, right, and I talk about, I hope you guys have been enjoying the skits. We still have not recorded them, right? But I can talk about this now because this is going later after the skits. I hope you guys enjoyed the skits. They're going to be scattered throughout the episodes because I don't know how long Kirby's going to take. So yeah. And you, any any final thoughts, Casey? <laughs> Alright,